Now, let me see if I can repeat, you know, distill down what you said and obviously correct me if I'm getting it wrong. So again, coming from the economists arguing over business cycle, but primarily, you know, like what causes recessions and then particularly what should the central bank and or the government do to help things, if anything, that, yeah, this, there's, a, there's often a dispute about the so-called paradox of saving or paradox of thrift. And the Keynesian interventionists, let alone the MMTers, will often say like, oh, yeah, if, they're, if people are clam up and they're afraid to spend, you know, consumers are trying to get ahead that, you know, there's a shock or something and people are trying to bolster their balance sheet that causes this downward spiral. And then the defenders of the free market will often say, oh, no, no, like, you know, once people just catch their breath and as long as government doesn't intervene, you know, interest rates will fall, prices will fall, people will start spending again and, you know, businesses will begin lending to creditworthy borrowers and, you know, and then the people argue, well, gee, why would the business expand if its revenues fell? They say, oh, well, because they're making a fork. Okay, you get... But your point is, when you're thinking of it like that and does saving lead to subsequent investment, perhaps with a lag, clearly what people have in mind is financial savings.